But I will say that we are um, in a currently challenging time of making sure that we can provide all of the services that we've promised over the over the years. We in residential we have three different containers that people have options for. The the uh, garbage of course is not an option. You have to have a garbage. Um, recycle we do mandatory recycling, but it is you can get rid of your recycle container. We prefer you don't. It gives you more opportunity to dispose of things, but you can um, opt out of that, but you don't get a, any kind of a discount because it actually costs more in the long run if we have to take all that to the, to the landfill. And then we have an optional yard waste program, which is um, right now we're able, what we've done is consolidate three routes into two so that we continue to service all of those. We have about 10,000 customers in the city. So we've uh, consolidated that and are using two drivers and they will be doing some overtime at this point. If we lose anybody else, we're in jeopardy of the, the yard waste program is in jeopardy. I, we have a plan that uh, takes us through those scenarios and most of it would be the optional services that we provide, we just wouldn't be able to provide those. We do, um, we do events every Saturday, every Sunday, every weekend, uh, just as you guys travel to South, to South Dakota, to Rapid City, um, we have events here. So those are things that uh, we would have to change the way that we provide that service. We may be able to provide a container and then they would have to deal with it. We wouldn't be able to unload it until Monday. So we may have to change the way that we do things. We may have to cut back on our ability to provide extra pickups at people's homes.